Traditionally, ports and particularly shipping lines are embedded in old ways. If you speak to young people in particular about the future of transport, they'll tell you something completely different. And that's why we've employed a lot of smart young people in the port industry to look at what can be done around blockchain, robotics, artificial intelligence. And furthermore, because the workplace changes, we're also looking at what the future of work will bring. Innovation is really important in shipping because we're trying to keep costs low. And particularly for ports of Auckland, what we're trying to do is be more efficient on the same size piece of land. And we can't expand our land anymore. We've got a, a, a tight, small harbour and a small port. So we have to be really clever about what we do. Next year, 2019, we're going to be introducing robots onto a New Zealand port for the very first time. And those robots will increase our capacity by more than a third. So that's the sort of thing that we're looking to do here at Ports of Auckland to make our operation more efficient. So another key project is sustainability. Being a city port, we have to be clean and green. So what are our ambitions in this context? We want to be emissions free by 2040 and carbon neutral by 2025. Even the three new key cranes that will be delivered uh, in August this year will have solar panels on them. So our intention also with all that's going on around innovation is to start an innovation hub. And that will focus on the automation project we've got going on now. We're also using virtual reality for training our pilots. And the other important part of the innovation centre will be the future of work. So we'll have people dedicated to looking at retraining and making sure that we have collaboration with the universities and the overall innovation hub at Winyard Quarter to make sure that we can deliver on what will be the future of work.